you guys join me inside of the GS3 M Zoom. And in today's review, I'll tell you all about this vehicle and what it's really all about. I will show you its features from an interior and exterior perspective, drive it up a hill, and of course, launch it because this is some Zansi popular rides. Is the GS3 M Zoom worth your consideration? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's find out. What you're looking at is the GS3R style M Zoom. What a mouthful. The GS3 model lineup starts with the Comfort, followed by the Executive, and then this, the R style. Regardless of the model you choose, all vehicles are powered by a 1.5 turbocharged engine, putting out 130 kilowatts of power and 270 newton meters of torque. This sounds familiar. Later on in the video, we will launch it and see what it's like to drive. Straight off the bat, I like the daring design. It looks mental. Well done GAC, well done. Look at the bold and sporty front end with that large grille. I like the design of the sharp LED daytime running lights and headlights. And the prominent chin spoiler. Do you see that? It has the signature three stripes on the grille reminiscent of a BMW. The side profile is slick and athletic with a raked roof line and flared wheel arches. You have side skirts and a black roof courtesy of the R style. At the rear you have a modern and stylish rear end with a large tailgate. You have LED tail lights and a massive diffuser with orange accents. The R-Style trim level adds a more aggressive look with a twin exit exhaust and a black diffuser. Let's listen to the exhaust one more time. Well, it has a limiter, however, it still sounds decent. The boot is electronic and once it's open, you'll gain access to a boot capacity of 341 liters with the seats up and 1,271 liters with the rear seats folded down. What do you think of the looks? Let us know in the comment section below. With that being said, let's dive into the interior. Step inside the GS3 and you'll be greeted by this large panoramic sunroof. Ah, I want one already. A sunroof is a must have. You have a large central touchscreen infotainment system paired with a digital instrument cluster, providing a modern and intuitive interface. The infotainment system is smartphone interface friendly for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. My favorite feature on it is the mode options, especially because I like to have it in spot mode coupled with the exhaust mode. Driver modes include Eco, Comfort, and spot modes and well if the exhaust mode is too loud for you well you can switch it off with the press of a button like most modern vehicles these days most functions like climate control and vehicle settings are controlled through the touchscreen however they did not forget about practicality because you have shortcut buttons right in the center console a wireless charging pad is available for compatible devices. You also have USB ports for charging up. Keyless entry and push button start are standard features. You have leather seats which will hold you in place and offer sufficient support and comfort. The driver's seat is electric with the passenger being manual. It's practical with ample amounts of legroom and headroom for both front and rear passengers. For your reference, I am 1.86 meters tall. The interior features various storage compartments and pockets for small items and you also have cup holders too. Overall, the interior is a pleasant place to be and gives a premium experience at a bargain price. It's safe too with airbags and isofix anchor points for your toddler's child seat. How do they do this? Well, while we find answers, 
let's take it for a drive and of course launch it. It surely did not take too long before I realized that the GS3R is a blend of style, performance and technology. I set off for a test drive and I noticed that the GS3 was super responsive. You put your foot down and it responds instantly. The car's engine and transmission allow it to handle uphill climbs with ease. There's ample torque provided by the engine that helps maintain momentum on steep inclines. Equipped with a 1.5 litre turbocharged engine, putting out 130 kilowatts of power and 270 newton meters of torque, this vehicle delivers a respectable amount of power for its segment. The engine provides ample torque, ensuring a smooth and responsive driving experience. You have a 7-speed DCT gearbox which changes quickly and smoothly. In my opinion, the gearbox seems to be tuned for a slightly sporty shift. In terms of road handling, you have good stability on various road surfaces thanks to what seems to be a well-tuned suspension. It handles corners confidently, providing a secure and enjoyable driving experience. The ride is generally comfortable with minimal road noise and vibrations. And then you have those 18-inch alloy wheels which contribute to its sporty feel as well as appeal. Without any further waste of time, let's launch it and see what it's all about. As you can see, it's rather zippy. You have adequate acceleration for city driving and highway cruising. While it may not be the fastest vehicle, it can confidently overtake slower traffic. Fuel economy is rated at 6.2 liters per 100 kilometers. You have a service plan of five years or 60,000 kilometers, whichever comes first, and a warranty of five years or 150,000 kilometers, whichever comes first. Although it's a new product in the South African market, I think the warranty should give an indication that they are willing to stand by their product. Safety features include dual front side airbags, curtain airbags, automatic emergency braking, forward collusion warning, traffic sign recognition system, lane departure warning, adaptive cruise control, surround view camera system, hill descent control, as well as high beam assist. With a recommended retail selling price of 549,900, cost of ownership will set you back 13,440 with an installment of 10,751, assuming an interest rate of 12% over a period of 72 months, fuel of 989 rand, assuming you'll fill up the 47 liter tank at least once a month, and insurance of 1,700. Would I buy one? Well, if I had to go for one, I would go for the top spec only for fun cool factor. If that's not important for you, the entry level and mid level specs should do, depending on the amount of safety and tech you want. What do you think of this car? Would you buy one? With that being said, it's now time for the Mio score. For the interior, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. It feels premium. However, it does have some plastic finishes that won't be to everyone's taste. For the exterior, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. They nailed it. Strip the badges and call it the Lambo and people would not even know. For safety and tech, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. It's well equipped. You have cameras that serve as blind spot monitors as well as safety tech at an advanced level. As an overall score, I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. The GS3R M Zoom therefore gets a Mio score of 42 out of 50. If you want a similarly powerful engine, well, look no further than the Haval Julian Pro 1.5 Turbo S. A massive shout out to GAC Clearwater for allowing us to review this vehicle. If you're in the market for this vehicle or the M Coup, be sure to visit them. Well then, until next time.